Now this effect is a really cool illusion. Shout out to Brustpup for this really cool experiment. Can you guess which item isn't really there? I'll give you a hint. It's not the salt. It's not the Mentos. And the Rubik's Cubes right here. Yep, check it out. How amazing is that? It's just a piece of paper. But it looks real. And that is called an anamorphic illusion. Here's two more. See the tape? Or actually, see the paper. And lastly, the sneaker on the table. Again, is not really a sneaker on a table. For this experiment, you're going to need an orange juice container and a water balloon filled inside the container. To do that, take the empty balloon, place it inside the container, and then attach it to the sink while you fill it up with water. You then want to twist it and cover the opening of the orange's container. Then cover the container and untwist the balloon. Then wait for someone to open the juice. For the next one, ask someone how to remove the quarter without touching any of the matches. Watch. This one's a real easy one and it's fun as well. Take an empty one liter bottle and a push pin. Put about 10 holes in the bottom of the bottle, going all around the bottom. Fill it up with water, close it, and write do not open on the bottle. Wait for someone to come along and of course open the bottle. And watch what happens. When the bottle's open, it squirts out water. As soon as it's closed, it stops again. Open, closed. Open, closed. Do not open, I'm gonna open it. And that's what happens. As soon as you close it, it stops. You could also squeeze it. Take a couple of Mentos. You see these have holes in them already. The way you get that hole, take a little thumbtack pin, push it through as far as you can, and then do so on the other end. And then take a regular nail, as thin as you can get, and stick it through there, just so that you can make the hole bigger. There you go. Now, what you want to do when you have those two good holes in the two Mentos, like that, is take a string and string it through the Mentos. Like this. Keep in mind, they should be mint Mentos, because they work best. And Diet Coke works best with the mint Mentos. We're going to put the Mentos in the bottle. Here's just a little example of what's going to happen. Keep it as high up as you can with the string hanging out. Then you're going to close the cap. So you can't really see the Mentos. People won't notice it. We're going to cut that string off when we do it in the real one. The soda's going to be in there. It's going to be in the real bottle. And then when someone goes and opens the bottle, the Mentos will fall down. Soda will shoot up everywhere. Let's go try it. So we're gonna place it very carefully in here. Hold on to the string. See, Mentos are in there. Don't let it touch the soda. Close the cap on it. You can barely see. You can't even really see the Mentos. Now we're going to cut the string, 
close as you can cut it, as close as you can get to the cap. And it looks like just a regular bottle of Diet Coke. Now for this science trick, you need something called sodium polyacrylate, otherwise known as water gel or any other term like that. It absorbs all the water. So what you do is you fill up a spoonful of this and you put it in a styrofoam cup. Pour it in there. And it looks just like any empty cup when you show it to someone real quickly. Then take water, pour it in the seemingly empty cup, and walk over to someone and tell them you're going to pour this over their head and watch what happens when nothing comes out. That's because it became gel. Like that. Now for this experiment, we're going to use magic ink, otherwise known as thymodaline solution, which you can get but most commonly known as disappearing ink. So we're gonna squirt some all over. Here, pour some on your friend, or it may not be your friend after this, but after about five minutes, that stained ink that looks like it's gonna stain forever, just goes away. Now, it goes away from the carbon dioxide in the air. So if you blow on it, or use this little, any type of hair blower or any type of blower, it'll go away a lot quicker. It'll go away a lot quicker. Check it out. All right, well, the blue is pretty much all gone. It's been less than five minutes. Now we're just gonna let this dry and the shirt will be as good as new. We'll check back on this in a few minutes. You see, the shirt is perfect as new. And of course, when your friend's shirt is good and new again, you gotta spray them up again. Wanna bet someone you could walk through a postcard? Well, here's how it's done. Take a postcard and fold it in half. Then, make a bunch of cuts going up as far as you can go without cutting the edge. And then you're gonna do the exact same for the opposite side, going in the opposite direction. And now, what you wanna do is open it, and we're gonna make one more cut. So, two little pieces, there we go. When you have that, look for the center piece that's cut right there. And then we're gonna Cut it all the way down the middle. But again, make sure you don't cut to the end. Just as far as you can go. And now we have a postcard that you could walk through. Check it out. Right here. I'm actually gonna step through it. Both feet. All the way around. For this trick, all you need is a balloon and some bamboo skewers, which you can get in many grocery stores. Then you have a balloon and take a bamboo skewer and ask someone how it's possible to stick it through the balloon without it popping. The secret lies in the balloon ends, here and here, where the material is not stretched as far. Watch. So I'm sticking it through the end of the balloon, and it's in, not sure if you can see it, but it is in, see right there? And it's going through the balloon to the opposite end, and it's gonna come out right there. The air is still in it, it is not popped. Let's take the skewer out and watch what happens. 
the air is still in it. And just to show this is a real balloon, go from the side, boom. For this trick, you're going to fill a bowl with water and sprinkle some pepper on top of the water, like that. And you see when you put your finger down regularly, nothing happens, the pepper's still there. But when you take some soap and put it over your finger, and then dip it in the pepper, watch what happens. Twist it one time around, and then take the top of the balloon two times around, and then take the top of the balloon, attempting to stick it through. It doesn't want to go through. So I'm sticking it through the... And of course, when your friend's shirt is good and new again, you gotta spray him up again. And when you're done making these cuts, whoops. Can you walk through a postcard? Well, next time you ask someone that, you'll know how it's done. That doesn't make sense. So we're gonna take this water balloon and put it through the orange juice container so that the top of the balloon is coming out through the top of the orange juice container. And I'm not really sure how to do that, but somehow I'll do it. It's harder than you think to cut the bottom of an orange juice container. You think it's just cardboard. What are they put in? Goodness. Maybe a scissor would be easier. Wow. It's hard. It's ridiculously hard. Two hands. Can't cut it. So made of steel. Orange juice bottoms are made of steel. I guess this is a prank in itself. Cut it.